Hello. <laughs> Hello wanderers. This is Vaughn, your local wanderer. Please join us today as we explore this famous tourist destination in Tacloban City, the Santo Niño Shrine. The shrine is located along Royal Street in the downtown area and to enter you just need to pay 200 pesos that's already good for a group of six people and that already includes your tour guide. Immediately you will notice the deterioration of the walls and the ceiling and according to our host this was caused by the Typhoon Yolanda. According to her, uh, the museum has not been given that much attention in terms of repair but they're hoping that will change um, now that we have a new president seated in the house. The details on the walls are very impressive. Um, you can see that uh, this looks like hand woven. So we have there the old sewing machine and then love set from Italy, letter from So you it is a miniature yung gumagawa niya ng architect. Made by a famous Philippine architect, Manuel Rizal. It's about Mami Melda's life. Siya yung maliit, 5 years old, bahay ng mga rumordes, pagdakan ng ina. So until now, naging pasarang yung bahay. Pulol! From Baguio. Marble top, side table, ang diorama, mga rumordes, talatulosa. So doon sir, kapatayo ang residence. Doon ang tulog kung may mga gatherings. Okay, so Mami Melda and your family in Tolosa Leite na wala doon ang bahay ng Yolanda. Total. Isa sa mga masasarap na gulay. Pwedeng salad, may gata with dried fish. Okay, so andyan yung diorama. The shrine is one of uh, the 20 presidential rest houses built by late former President Ferdinand Marcos for his wife Imelda, who was originally from Tacloban. The luxurious structure served as a chapel, museum, and a guest house with 21 bedrooms. <laughs> This image of the Sacred Heart of Jesus was made of very fine details um, using mosaic tiles. Okay, si Mami Melda na Miss Tacloban na. Rose of Tacloban, 1947. After Miss Tacloban, doon na nag Miss Manila. Okay ma'am, this is one of the guest rooms. The museum has 21. Aside from the dioramas, you can also find collections of paintings and historical events in Leyte. And the shrine was also a palace during the Marcus regime with Olympic-sized swimming pool, state dining rooms, about 13 guest rooms and private bedrooms for Imelda, Ferdinand and their children. Ang diorama, yun na, mag-asawa. Senatorial campaign of Marcos, Naga City, 1959. Yan, si Mami Melda ang maawit ng dahil sa iyo. Naga, Naga, Sinto, Dito. There is definitely a lot of things to see inside because the place is filled with antique ceramics, pottery, and collectibles. Dalawang diorama. Hi, boy! Okay, ito na yung old taking of Marcos for President. Ang isa inauguration CCP. Cultural Center of the Philippines. Sayang sa mga big projects. 
I like the diorama because it showed the important events in Imelda's life and featured all of her accomplishments as a first lady back then. The biggest mirror from Vienna, Austria. The shrine was furnished with several antiques from around the world. As you can see, we have the Austrian mirrors here. Uh, it can also be found in every rooms in the mansion. Okay, the walling covered with bamboo chips. Original lighting. Kaya nam yun, may mga napundina. Board for the BT Sisters. Dining room for guests. So, nakainan din siya. Nakainan, siguro mga meeting. Nagamit ang lugar. Okay, ang second floor, another dining. 5 BT Sisters na. Atagal yun, naging governor ng Leyte, ambassador ng U.S. Patay ni Mark. So this also became a repository of uh, the Marxist collections such as chandeliers from the Czech Republic, big mirrors from Austria, different tiles from Italy, jars from China, floor carpets from Argentina, and among others, a lot of things to see here. Okay, so pocket tayo, sir. Don't have a stairway, do you This diorama shows how busy and active Imelda was as a first lady, leading the build of several infrastructure projects in the country.
As we entered the ballroom, we were all amazed by the huge chandeliers hanging by the ceiling. They look really old, but they definitely maintain their elegance. By the way, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Please also turn on that notification bell so you can get notified on my new videos. As we were touring the entire ballroom, in my mind I was also imagining the significant events, parties, gatherings and occasions that took place here. Only these chandeliers, mirrors, paintings and other special collections can tell how grand and special this place was. Binalot ng leather, isa-isa yung wood chips. Okay, so binikip din isa-isa parang Sige, naman ang maging bodyguard niyo. Sige, bodyguard. PSG. This is BBM's room. Hi. 
Ay, ito na. Ang hindi makapasa mag-overnight dito mag-isa. We started to joke around because our host was very knowledgeable of the entire museum. So one of us said there should be a quiz after the entire tour. From Madam Imelda, You gave us an idea. Just look at this room having its own jacuzzi inside.
Okay, so ito yung last part dito, second floor. Sa baba, mayroon pa ang mga kapila. Ang lalo mo. Ang lalo mo. Ang lalo mo. International Rights Research Institute. My kids to us. Bueno, I'm sizzling, de ba? Orange Brutus. Ah, okay, tama na. Orange Brutus pa la yun. At saka Aparador Franco Ilocan Dia Ilocos Moti Ilocos Dia in America, made in Locos. Diorama first visit of Magnelda in Libya with Yan ang bahay nila sa Locos late presidents residents. Pero ngayon, inalunaw yan. baka may ano dito yung coconut crab kala mo coconut talaga saan po ito? sa Lagota sir fisherman's village ah yung fisherman's village okay immaculate conception At the end of the tour, there is a small souvenir shop uh, just outside the last room. Um, if you'd like to purchase some um, souvenirs, um, you can buy them here.
that concludes our tour of Santo Nino Shrine or the Romualdos Museum here in Tacloban Leyte. If you're a tourist and you're visiting Tacloban City, I encourage you to come visit. The tour can last from around 30 to 40 minutes. Thank you for joining us today. Again, this is Vaughn, your local wanderer. I will see you on my next video. Stay safe always and have a great day.